An excerpt from Russia's Catacomb Saints, written by I. M. Andreev. Today, there is not and there cannot be any separation between ecclesiastical affairs and politics. Politics pretends to universality, i.e., it wishes to take into its hands the resolution of questions concerning spiritual life also. This means that political actions cannot be indifferent for the Church as well. Furthermore, when Antichrist shall have power on the earth, he will naturally be a political figure. This means that the Church also will have to oppose his political persecution. And so as, even now, to weaken this opposition, his forerunners, taking advantage of the idea that the Church should be above politics, conceal their warfare against God under a political cloak. The martyrs are political criminals. To be sure, the Church should not intrigue. But as soon as politics touches on questions of spiritual life, the Church cannot close her eyes to this. This is why the question of the battle against communism is a question of the spirit and not of politics. This is why the question of our jurisdictional divisions is not a question of quarrels of bishops over portfolios. No, it is a question of cooperation or tacit agreement with the forerunners of Antichrist or else uncompromising battle against them. This alone separates us from those who have broken away from the truth. But it does not separate us from the Russian people, for there the soul, even if it is invisible, even if it has retreated within itself, is still alive, is not spiritually enslaved. It is drawn to the light of truth. And a testimony of this is the existence, in the frightful conditions of the Soviet Union, where there are many Judases out of fear and others out of conscience, of a catacomb church that has not fallen.